The very root of al tadim we're talking about judging other people, at the root of every time you condescend, at the root of every time you judge someone, at the root of every time when you're self-righteous, is the notion, how could you? I would never. That's what makes you lower than me. Because you did that, and I could never do that. That is at the root of every judge, uh, judgment. The problem with that is, is that it is dishonest. Um, I didn't say it's bad midos, it's dishonest. Because you're saying, how could you? I would never. What you're saying is that if last night I would have been in your body, I wouldn't have done that which you did. Really? How do you know that? If you'd have had my struggle, you know you would have been victorious? You don't have that struggle. That's the beauty of judging. It's the cheapest way to get a thrill and to become self-righteous and the cheapest and shallowest ego boost. I'm great because I'm greater than you because you did something wrong. And I wouldn't have done it. How do you know you wouldn't have done it? Let me ask you a question. Do you struggle in certain areas in your life? Definitely. How do you do in your struggles? Are you, do you have a 100% track record? What, what? A success. Do you have a... No, you don't. You don't. Okay. Very bad. So in your areas of struggle, you don't have a 100% tra successful track record, right? Full domain. Right. So that person is struggling. It just so happens like that through no fault of his own, his struggles are in a different area than yours. He didn't choose his struggles. Who gave him his struggles? Hashem gave him his struggles. No one chooses to struggle. So he also doesn't have a perfect track record. That makes you better than him? Where do you get where do you get this? That criminal sitting in jail. What makes you better than him? You never had that person's struggles. I'll give you a simple proof. When you hear that someone killed someone, you're like, oh, it's the worst thing in the world. Uh, did you ever have a desire to kill someone? Okay, I don't mean it that way. <laughs> But did it ever happen that your hand was on the, 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 the trigger and you had to fight yourself? Never happened. For 95% of us, it doesn't happen. That person who's sitting in jail did have that struggle. What's the proof that he had the struggle? That he did it, right? He did it. So what makes you better than that person? That Hashem didn't give you that struggle? That what makes, that's what makes you a better person? So he said that we're not doing anyone a favor by not judging them. We're just being honest. But the truth is that being non-judgmental is the best gift that we can give ourselves. It's the most amazing gift. And it's not easy. It enhances everything. It enhances your relationships. It enhances your interactions. And it opens you up to be able to actually to be there for other people. Who are the people who we appreciate and the people who the people who, who, who who have the biggest impact on us. I, I, I don't mean a big person, a big rabbi who, you know, you read his, um, you know, his Torah. I'm talking about in a personal way. The ones who have the biggest impact on us are the people who don't judge us. The people who we feel safe. We can talk about what's going on. We can be honest. And they don't look down at us. They realize that life is a struggle and everyone struggles. And almost everyone at times fails. And that's part of the human condition. And the fact that you may struggle in a way that's different than my struggle doesn't make you a, a lower or worse person. On the other hand, when we do judge people, what we do is we create a barrier. And this is true in general, it's especially true about parents with their children, that when we judge people, especially as in kids, teenagers. So 
then they close up, they clam up. Okay, so you don't get me. You don't get me. They don't open up to you. What? They don't open up to you. They, you to a, they don't open up to you. And B, you can't help them. You can't influence them. The only way that you can help a person, when you see a person that has a problem and a struggle, if you judge the person, you put up a wall. If you're understanding of the person, and if you implement what he's saying over here and realizing you're not a better person than that person by virtue of the fact that you don't have the struggle, then you leave the door open and there is the ability to be able to influence and to help that person.